Welcome back, Summoners, to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. I am your host, Mandigar. And in this video, it will be Mandigar's Rant, Episode 2. Technically, it's Episode 3, but because of technical difficulties when I was trying to film the uh, original Episode 2 video, I'm just going to call this Episode 2. And uh, the uh, previous content, I'll just uh, move to uh, a future episode at a later date. Anyway, uh, I also want to add that uh, for the next couple weeks, at least next week, I will be down for maintenance. Uh, I guess you're noticing some lag on the video. Uh, there was some bad lag in my last crystal opening video, so I don't want to do another crystal opening video until I get that corrected. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad for the uh, premium hero crystals, but it was, you, you couldn't see, I mean, it. the picture was pretty much static for most of the four star spin. You know. And, uh, anyway... Let's uh, get to Mandigar's rant. Just to let you know, the title of this rant, or the uh, subject matter, will be on the uh, matchmaking process and why it needs to be improved and how it could, possible ways Kabam could actually, if they were willing to look into it, into fixing these things, doing something along the lines, these are ways that I think would uh, benefit the war system. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to Mandigar's rant. Welcome, summoners. Here we are looking at the um, the Alliance war setup. We just recently have been in a war, and as you can see, we're uh, a little less than four hours uh, remaining in the war. Uh, the thing that's messed up in this, uh, the thing that's messed up in this Alliance War matchmaking system is that you'll be placed, there's the, a high possibility when you get up into the higher tiers, you're placed with a Alliance rated much higher than you. For example, uh, a few Alliance Wars ago, we were pitted up against an alliance that was roughly had a total alliance rating of 7 million. And currently, to show you, our alliance, we're, uh, we're a little more than uh, 4.5 million. We're about 4.65 million. But um, anyway, uh, the problem that as you can see, well, with this alliance, it's actually not a bad matchup. Uh, we're a 4.65 mil alliance matched up to a 5.2. We're a little higher on their end, but that's not bad. What I can't stand is when we get matched up to like a 7 or an 8 mil alliance that's much higher and these are the guys that have tons of five stars that are ranked for level 55. Uh, pretty sure I'm thinking that's the right uh, uh, level rating, rank for level 55 for an art for a uh, five star champion. Anyway, we're doing all right here, but I would like to see the alliance war matchmaking system fix. Uh, I would like to see something set up that if it doesn't find an alliance that is somewhat uh, evenly matched, give or take uh, a few hundred thousand. I mean, this matchup isn't too bad. We're off by probably about 600,000 
we're actually holding on our own. As you can see, uh, we got 81% completion or exploration. We've managed to take down all three of their bosses. Um, so we're not doing too bad. But the things that can be fixed in the matchmaking process is I heard uh, Brian Grant, the contest champion, another YouTuber, he made the suggestion of doing a, um, a kind of Kang's uh, like alliance for war, uh, you know, in the event that a uh, alliance can't be found that's like say within, let's say, plus or minus 500k. Like say you have an alliance set, set up for Kang's Thanos, the Collector, Grandmaster, you know, with certain champions and that those champions would be geared or set be at least a challenge if not something that's a bit I guess you could say even I don't know if that can be done it would be nice another thing that would be nice if Kabam can't do that offer some kind of uh, handicap system that uh, at least evens the playing field for the uh, Alliance that's uh, extremely under equipped to uh, take on an alliance that you know in in our case you know we were, I think at the time we were just we were like a 4.2 alliance up against a uh, 7.1 mil alliance so some kind of uh, handicap that would give us a uh, uh, a benefit or uh, at least something to even the playing field. I'm not expecting it to be easy. You know, I'm not, I don't want things just handed to me. I love a challenge as much as the next person. But it's ridiculous when the odds are just totally stacked against you. I mean, no, I mean, what's, uh, what's the point of uh, trying to fight it out? I mean, the, the other alliance will be so stacked that you'll be lucky to get 30% exploration. So that's, uh, that's another idea. Kind of a handicap system. If you can't do a, uh, a like say Kang's team or Thanos team or Grandmaster's team for Alliance Wars, kind of like how it is in the arena championship when you get to that certain point, you end up going against uh, Kang's army and Thanos' army for a few fights during your uh, arena run. Why not do the same thing for Alliance Wars? Uh, there's that idea. And then there's the idea of the handicap system. can't think of anything else other than those two ideas it's just it's messed up when one alliance gets put up against another alliance that happens to be like say a good four mil higher than them you know obviously they've been putting more money into the game or they've been at it a little bit longer so all I'm saying is make it fair you know at least make it a there's a difference between making it a challenge and uh, there's a difference between making it a challenge and making it totally impossible at least with the handicap system like I said it'll even the playing field no one will be stronger than the other you know, like say for instance, give uh, the handicap to give uh, attack boosts to the uh, lesser alliance. Not much, just enough to give an edge to stand a chance so that the other alliance doesn't feel like 
Oh, we got this in the bag. These guys are are a pushover. You know that. You know that that kind of thing is just not right. I will be honest. Anytime we go up against a lot an alliance that's uh, has a lower rating than us, I feel bad. You know, because it's less of a challenge for us to roll through the map and and pick up that win. But I will say this. If there's more of a challenge by evening the playing field, where it's like, you know, it's like, oh, I'm, uh, our alliance is stronger than another alliance, so we have this in the bag. We don't have to worry about it. You know? I just say it needs to be fixed. You know? And that's just my opinion. And that's what I'm trying to get at. And that's the whole purpose of this rant. So, two things. If an alliance can't be found that is within, let's say, plus or minus 500k of the alliance that's searching for a match, then uh, match them up with like a uh, created alliance that uh, has uh, champions. Uh, associated with uh, Kang, Grandmaster, or even Thanos, or something like that. You know, similar to the arena. Or create some kind of handicap system that gives uh, the lesser alliance a uh, an attack boost so that it somewhat evens the playing field. Anyway, folks, I'm kind of uh, restating the... Uh, the facts so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here because you know that's the whole point of this rant as far as I can tell you the matchmaking system needs to be fixed Kabam says it all the time but they still have yet to fix it I've been with this game since they started Alliance Wars and it is still broken and it still needs to be fixed you know they've added this new map which might I add is uh Gives me a headache. I mean, we, we're we doing well on it. This, uh, I'm hoping this alliance war that you're currently looking at will turn into a win. Anyway, folks, that was Mandigar's rant. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end it here. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, Summoners, that was Mandigar's rant. Episode 2 of why the matchmaking system is broken and needs to be fixed in some way or another. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, just to remind you, I uh, will be down for maintenance. So uh, next week, usually on Mondays, I would be putting out a crystal opening video. I won't be doing that until uh, the... Uh, particular maintenance I'm getting done is on my desktop. I'm getting a new graphics card put in so that should alleviate all this massive lag and hopefully it'll fix the issue with the uh, with my voice being off from the audio. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, if you like the video, please uh, hit that like button. If you uh, like what you saw or at least heard um, in in this case, the uh, Mandigar's rant. Please uh, hit that subscribe button as well, and don't forget to hit that bell. It'll give you notifications whenever I put something new out. Also, too, if you have any comments, complaints, or suggestions, or even ideas on how the matchmaking process of this can particularly be fixed, put it down in the comment field. I'd like to see that kind of thing. Anyway, folks, I'll catch you on the flip side. Mandigar out!